is pushing the maker of a life-saving device for people with severe allergies to explain a drastic increase in cost. The price of the EpiPen has increased 400 percent over the past five years. This time, Water Cable News reporter Seth Voorhees tells us parents of children who need this device are concerned. Here we go. Ready? Nathan. In most ways, Nathan Markovich is just like any other eight-year-old. He's spending his summer playing baseball. Bobby hit it right there, and then the next kid hit it right there. With brother Trevor and mom Colleen watching from the stands. Whoa. Besides the love of sports, there's something else the brothers have in common. Everywhere they are, there's an EpiPen. That's because both have severe peanut and tree nut allergies. Reese's peanut butter cup, M&M's, any type, and a bunch of different types of cookies. EpiPens are devices which deliver life-saving epinephrine during a severe allergic reaction. It's truly the difference between living and dying. The Markoviches have between eight and ten of them at home, in the car, at school, here we go, and at the ballpark. God forbid they had an accidental exposure. I'm a little paranoid and I know that they need that medicine in the moment, not ten minutes later when an ambulance shows up. I mean, we've never have had to, knock on wood, administer an EpiPen. Or... But Coach Kevin Wexler and his staff work closely with parents to know exactly what a child's needs are. The plan is in place if needed, um, and hopefully it would be administered within um, a timely fashion if, if need be. But you always have it with you, right? Yep. The cost of EpiPens, sold in packs of two, have skyrocketed. We're talking 500 to $600 an EpiPen. Four times what they were five years ago. That's concerning for any parent. Troubling for Dr. Colleen Markovich, pediatric physician at Rochester General. I'm a little afraid people are either going to hang on to expired ones or they're just not going to have any at all and think, hey, we don't need it. We haven't needed it for the last five years. Let's roll the dice and hope we don't need it for another five. And EpiPens are only good for one year, so the cost for families which depend on them adds up quickly. You're buying six, eight of them a year. You're thousands of dollars for a medicine that you hope you never have to use. Members of Congress are now pressuring EpiPen manufacturer Myland to explain the price spike. Until then, it is a steep price parents must pay. Just in case. As I tell the parents and the kids the first day of camp, you dropped them off in one piece, we want to deliver them back to you in one piece with a smile. <laughs> Seth Voorhees, Time Warner Cable News.